Let's see what happens. I'm gonna hit the nitrous right into the water in three, two, one, yeet! Welcome back to Offered Outlaws, y'all, and of course, welcome back to the latest update. Now, if you would like a full breakdown of all of the features in the new update, make sure you check out my previous video over on my channel or my previous Offered Outlaws update video. It will be available over there, and it is a lot more in-depth on the technical aspects of the new update, but this video is a lot more in-depth on one particular topic, and that particular topic is the new limousine, the new Lincoln limousine and we're going to be doing a monster truck build and this monster truck build is going to be absolutely ridiculous it's going to be essentially well uh TC's monster limousine service and uh in order to make sure that this thing is uh well up to par with other monster limousines that it competes with as if this thing has any competition uh we need to make sure that it is completely maxed out and I mean all the way as far as we can go including a diesel swap maxed out durability absolutely everything that we can possibly do we're gonna go ahead and throw the e-brake on there we're gonna do full turbo tuning and we are maxed out at a stage four turbo we are also going to install a nitrous system and maxed out stage four nitrous good to go there as well and then now we just need to do a couple of different things in the suspension department like for example swapping over to a monster suspension now this is obviously going to require some in-depth work once we get it installed we're going to need to upgrade it to its maximum stage as well so we're going to go ahead and get the rear monster setup installed and once that is good to go we should be solid to go ahead and no actually we are not solid for that yet we need to go ahead and get the uh the stages done i will say the game does run a little bit slower sometimes after the update so do keep that in mind if you see any of the frame hiccups so let's go ahead and max out the travel and then we're gonna go ahead and uh just uh minimize the travel in the back so we have a squatted limousine actually no we are absolutely not going to do that now sh i'm i'm kind of back and forth about whether or not we should go for uh all out height or if we should go for kind of a balance because if we go for all out height that is what it's going to look like. It's going to be um it's going to be the tallest we can possibly go, but it's also going to be ridiculously stiff and it's not going to drive very well. So, I'm kind of back and forth. I tell you what, right now just for the sheer sake of the video, we're going to go full maxed out on the suspension so it can go as high as possible. However, in the future we will drop this stiffness back down and make it a lot more compliant and make it drive better. So, let's see. Axis width is going to be about let's see 0.05 this thing is going to be massive. Uh, it's going to be absolutely gnarly. Damping is going to be at about 3,000 is where we'll start. Um, and then we will try to dial it in a little bit more after that. So let's see, about 3,000 all round. And then now, let's just, just for the sake of testing, let's do a drop test and see how it performs, even with the maximum stiffness. Okay, it's not terrible. It doesn't actually, like, immediately bounce off of the ground. Uh, with the damping set the way it is, it does give it just a tiny little bit of give, so that's okay. Um, so now, we're going to go ahead and max out the front wheels in terms of upgradability. We're also going to max out the rear wheels in terms of upgradability. And the radius is going to be, bam, all the way up. And the rear radius is also going to be, bam. Oh, well, if the game didn't have a hiccup, it would be. Come on, there you go. Now, width, bam, width in the front, bam, oh my god, this is enormous, and wheel size, oh, we'll bump it up to like 1.1, just to also kind of emphasize the fact that everything is enormous on this setup. Now, we get to do the gear tuning, which is going to be a little bit odd uh, for something this huge, but what we're going to do is we're going to do a kind of baseline setup of 3-2-2-0. This is kind of my general, like, mud racing setup, and then we'll build on it from there. Third gear, or rather, thirst gear, uh, according to the current menu, uh, is going to be 1-5, and forced gear is going to be 1-1, uh, one, one. and fist gear is going to be a eh, point nine ish we'll say um we may mess with that more a little bit later but that's what it's going to be as of right now and then now in terms of the customization this is where things get particularly interesting so we could 
go with the flotation tires, and I think we will, just to see what they do, because I think it's going to be absolutely hilarious to see this thing float. Um, and then, I'm debating upon, you know what? Because it's a, because it's a limo. Oh my god, I mean, it's already ridiculous as is. We might as well build a floating gloss pink limousine just to do it. You know what I mean? Just to do it just once. And then from there, we can like, you know, we can make it whatever else we want to make it. But wheels wise, we have kind of a near endless selection, really. I think, oh, no. I mean, it's already ridiculous. We might as well go full ridiculous with it, right? Oh, no. Oh, no. This is so bad. This is, this is absolutely horrible. Oh my god, this is absolutely horrible. I love it. <laughs> this is, this is about as ridiculous as it can get. And then in terms of special horns, what do we want? I'm gonna go with that. On the maximum tone, too. Like, all, tone all the way up. Or should it be all the way down? Let's see what that sounds like. That just sounds broken. And I feel like that's actually good. I feel like that's actually what this thing kind of is going for anyway. So let's see. Suspension-wise, what should we do with this? I mean, just like make it silver slash white? I mean, I guess we could. Chrome isn't really an option, so eh, that'll do. Like, that'll have to be close enough, right? And then now, uh, let's see what we can do in terms of body customization. Now, before we do that, let me buy all of that just in case the game crashes because we're, you know, we're doing a lot of different things right now. But so far, it seems fine. I say that and it's going to, you know, it instantly crash. Don't worry about it. Wait a second. Front bumpers. Oh, eh, I'm going to leave that on there. We'll do, uh, you know what? We'll do the Baja lights up top just to be, like, just to be wacky. And then cage-wise, can you do, you can do a full cage. Oh, my God. That is so ridiculous. You can do your standard assortment of fenders, and then you can do cut fenders, which we will do. And then on the front, we have to. We have to do the horns just to make it as ridiculous as possible. Front light bar, I don't think we need that. Um, winch, I don't think we need that. I will do the white uh, HIDs, and let's see. Let's do a repair pack all the way in the back seat. And since it is a diesel limo, um, where am I? Oh my god. That is, holy smokes, that is insane. I want, yes, yes, all of that. That is perfect. Perfection. That is beautiful. And I know exactly where we are going to take this ridiculous thing as well. So we're going to go ahead and take it out to one of my favorite maps. One of my absolute favorite maps. Let's see if they still have it. Yes, they do. They do still have it in the featured area. Good old Twin Rivers Lake. Now, let me go ahead and have a, um, have a little sip of my coffee real quick because I feel like I'm going to need it for this one. Ah, there we go. Now, I don't know how this is going to go, considering the fact that A, I've never driven this thing before, B, I've never driven on the flotation tires before, and C, the whole entire scenario, the whole entire premise of this vehicle is ridiculous in every possible measurable and non-measurable way. Oh, I forgot I had a trailer equipped. Oh, we're going to need the world's biggest drop hitch for this. Look at this. Oh, it, I don't even know if it's going to be able to drop far enough. It, 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 it's, it, oh, 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 well, there you go. My 40 inch drop hitch. Oh my freaking God. That is ridiculous. Okay. Well, since I don't want it to be at 40 inches, whenever I switch to another vehicle, I'm going to set it at like minus 16 and then detach the trailer. And then now we're going to take off. Um, but before we do that, let me get out real quick. And we're going to go ahead and holster so we can have a full view. And oh my god. I wasn't ready for this, y'all. I wasn't ready for this whatsoever. Let's get back in. I just want to drive it. All right. Flotation tire time. Let's go. Oh, this thing is actually faster than I thought it was going to be. Um, it doesn't turn. I probably... You know what? In hindsight, I probably should have put some... Um, 
some uh, rear steer in it because it feels a tad long to not have rear steer. It's literally a bus. I mean, it's, it's practically bus length, so I feel like I'm not too far off in calling it the length of a bus. Now, I'm not going to necessarily get out a tape measure and measure this and see if it is actually as long as a bus, but I'm sure it's longer than some buses out there. So let's go ahead and head on over to the boat ramp because we all know exactly where that is on this map, or at least most of us know exactly where that is on this map. And then we're going to get ready to take this thing for its maiden voyage, I suppose you could say. Alrighty, boat ramp time. Let's see what happens. I'm going to hit the nitrous right into the water in three, two, one. Yeet! Come on! Oh my god. This is nuts! It's a... It actually drives kind of like it's on ice, so it's really fun. You can drift everywhere. This is beautiful! This is absolutely delightful. I love it. I did not think that they were going to add flotation tires to the game, but I, for one, am so glad they did. This is absolutely bonkers and hilarious in every possible way. Let's see. Does it actually interact with that? Oh my god, it does! You can use it for, like, a little bit of a jump. You know, I actually, you know what? I know exactly what this is. This is what they park right next to the resort over here. And then they sell tours, right? They charge people to go for uh, for rides on the lake in this absolutely ridiculous monstrosity. And, I mean, now, this is essentially the off-road outlaws equivalent of what's like of what monstrosity is to SnowRunner. Because, like, you would pull up right here, you'd get out, you'd be like, Hello! Your, uh, your tour has arrived. It's right here. Um, please, uh, mind your, well, everything and hop in. The ladder is available on the other side or on this side, depending on where you want us to put it. But with all of that being said, y'all, if you enjoyed this video from the latest Offered Outlaws update, let me know what you've been doing with the new limo in the comments below. And if you're new around here and you would like to see more ridiculous builds like this one, make sure to leave all of your suggestions down there in the comments, and I will be sure to read as many of them as I can. And if you want to see more videos like this one, hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on, and I will see y'all next time.